Hello and welcome to my new project, which is job manager, a new way to manage job applications. My name is Alexander. I'm a freelancer. I'm Oracle certified Java programmer, IT specialist from Germany. So basically, this is my another pet project where I want to show you my skills in web programming, Java web programming. And short information about me. I have more than two years in Java programming experience. Uh, most of my projects are rapid prototyping or TDD style development. I have experience in Scrum and Agile development. I'm a long learner. I'm a part-time student at Hagen Remote University in specialization of computer science. Uh, in my day-to-day uh, -day projects, I'm working most times as a tester. I'm creating automating unit tests, but I have projects where I take the role of the developer, even JavaScript developer. My clients are typ typically middle-sized companies, startup companies here in South Germany. So I'm most of my time spending at uh, on premises in client shops and uh, there most most time probably you will can have the opportunity to see me in Munich. Yeah. So let's just do further. Here is my topics for today. I want to discuss it uh, why I started this project. Well, job seeking becomes too complex and too unorganized. And what I mean by that, I have spoken with the people who have uh, done apprenticeship, who recently out of university, and they taking the hit by the wall and wall it means the real expectancy from the companies and some of the good university graduates they don't know how to apply they don't know how to manage all their job seeking actions and there's a l some sort of uh, lack of organization i will say because hey, they different devices, they have tablets, they have smartphones, they have uh, computers, l l uh, netbooks, laptops, and so and such and such and such. So and yeah, it's it gets kind of difficult. So uh, job seeker actually need to have an ability to manage uh, their job seeking activity, and only working with Excel sheet uh, it's not the best solution because it gets pretty fast out of sync with your uh, actions as a job seeker and you sometimes uh, lose the scope of your applications and you get kind of uh, asynchronous with companies which expect you to be to answer their requests fast so it's kind of complex problem because people write many 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 applications because there are many 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 job openings on the market and it get even even worse because most times uh, job search platforms are suboptimal uh, i mean did you as a job seeker or maybe as a person who working in HR did you ask yourself how actually people apply for a job for your company they getting through many many pages of different uh, job search results and the problem is, is there are so many so many job openings and you need to be able to filter companies where you already applied you need to be able to uh, filter companies where you have received a rejection. You don't want to write one in the same application to one in the same company. This is bad. And it gets pretty complex, complex 
because many sites which provide such information do not have a meaningful way uh, to store your activity for the job search and the uh, the the job openings are uh, themselves are always time limited so you cannot store uh, the links you you can store the links to the job openings by the but in one or two days they get uh, lost in the system so the best way currently is actually to make uh, to print it out in form of pdf but pdf printing pdf format it's not um, it's kind of important but it's kind of inefficient in my in my opinion so what should be done well my plot platform which i want to create uh, this will be a job seeker oriented web platform i think this will be the first web platform who have in mind the, the job seeker and not the company in itself and because i am a freelancer i'm not an, a company i can actually um, provide sky, such kind of services for free yes you heard me right for free and why I'm doing, I just want to give a small solution, but uh, in a very meaningful way for the people who <laughs> they, they're looking for the job uh, like for many years, but um, they getting uh, not, uh, they, they need to get to the contact to the smaller companies middle sized companies and the big size companies uh, they are important too but people who actually applied at the big companies they need to find another companies and this is kind of the way which i want to tell you it's all about uniqueness you have one unique person who looking for a unique company with his special uh, understandings and requests so it should be pretty obvious if you provide a platform where the job seeker is a main actor he through his actions will definitely get interesting proposition because he would request company a request if he as user decided and he would gather the fastest feedback from his actions and only his actions would decide how good his job activity looks like so my plan that the user in, in my system which is job seeker would get one email per month with the statistics of, on how many uh, companies he applied and how good he was he would definitely we will be able to compose an email through my system but my system would not uh, send this email to the company where the job seeker want to apply my system would s send an email to the job seeker and the job seeker would uh, check verify the output of his of my system and then he would send the email uh, the according with attached documents to the company where he want to apply but main features it's like providing a platform where he independently from all of his devices can store the data about where he did apply it when he did apply it or she applied and how good he was at applying did he got a rejection does it still in the uh, process of verifying of his documents and i think later companies would actually will be interested to work with me to be able to get hold of such people and to propose them uh, job openings so i created very rough prototype of my system this is basically my idea how it will can how it actually would look like but 
I will say this is not 100% in the stone. This is a prototype. This is just to get a rough uh, view on, of my idea. So, user need to log in into my system, but before he will do that, he need to be registered in my system. So he will type all of this data. He will be registered in my system. And after that, he would get logged in into the system. And this probably would look like this. Uh, he definitely would not see new applications at first. But later when he will create new applications, he would see at this landing page where he need to apply. So, and how he would apply. So, the idea is pretty simple. He would be able, uh, th this kind of view will be user generated. That means the job seeker logs into my system. He insert his new application. And then later he compose a, a letter email from this application and sends it to himself and then from his email box he will send this application to the according company i think it is actually G G gdpr confirm <laughs> so what 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 uh, job seeker user will do the next he will click of user account office he will get into his account even deeper. Now he will see this view. He will see a uh, company offers, but only when he uh, push this button, allow to be contacted by companies. And he clicks this button and at some point he will get the offers from the companies, job offers from the company. Now, what the user want to do he he probably would create new application he will type in all of this data insert application many times and of course i will check for the duplicates he the user would not be allowed to enter duplicates into the system and let's see what should we expect next so the, the user uh, the job seeker provided his applications and he cl he would cl click on the list of new applications through the drop down menu from manage your applications and then he would see uh, uh, the new applications view here uh, uh, in this place he would need to actually select where he want to apply and then click on compose a letter for a company a letter for create compose a letter for, com for company and this will be probably look like this here he would like uh, provide a topic and then he will provide a letter so and me as a platform provider i will um, give to the user some sort of an template templates how to write front page how to write cover letter and he basically would have kind of examples how it should like how how it should look like and he will include cover letter and curriculum vt and such and such and such and then it will be merged to the PDF, one PDF file. Then he will click here because I want to stay GDPR conform. So the letter, the email which I have, which my system will create here, he will send to his email. The job seeker user will send an email to himself. This email he probably will forward to the up to the company where he want to apply this um, email would include a text which user created through my template but probably i will this will definitely happen that i will include the phrase 
please uh, always adjust the template to make your letter of application cover letter a, a, a unique one and this kind of an operation he can do many times so so i have created kind of manual system but user would get an ability to to write an application from any device which he, he can use because all of the data which user provides will be stored in my system his cover letter his front page his curriculum with his credentials certificates and such and such and such i think it will be probably all all be encrypted so i personally would not have an, uh, an access to the data but it will be stored on my uh, on my system and okay so now you see i always when he sends an email this will be always with the following statement the user allowed to compose an email to one and the same company max three times in one day so my system will check this definitely and the user will actually say following through when he approve sending of this email here by as a user and uh, a knowledge that i take full responsibility for sending this email to a company name so basically i, I stay in, i'm staying gdpr conform his privacy is my concern too but i don't want to bother other companies so in any case this is a service to help a job seeker to be to be more to be more organized in his actions and to help him to understand how market reacts to to his application so what should happen next after sending all of these new applications he would get a start and basically it would be it would looks like this so this is a kind of mock-up mock-up view of what he gets he would get a uh, this is kind of another service which will I provide where he as a user can edit when he thinks that he actually uh, sent the email later because date of applying and actually date of composing an email maybe I should uh, edit edit this column but anyway user is able to edit this view to add another date for the applying another job title where was actually in his job offer and after he has done such work he can actually when he will use my system through many months or years i hope then he need to write the company name or the job title and the date and the system will be able to produce an uh, output for his request and the same function goes through here search this search is kind of general search so and of course uh, to make it more efficient i would not print out 100 sales table this will be like be 10 10 or 5 it's, it should be a smaller output but with visibility to look deeper into it and yeah so kind of interesting stuff for me because I mean I work it most times on the project with the already created projects but for me it will be kind of big step into the future and let me go further with my with my powerpoint presentation so you saw that i have 
pretty clear uh, view on what should be done what expect into the future so if my platform gets will be successful later then i think it should make only sense that i include things like chat function that the uh, company will schedule a appointment with a candidate and through my system the candidate will be able to speak with the company through the text chat because maybe job seeker is uh, not in his uh, flat or i mean maybe he's on only has an, a mobile device maybe he has only tablet device and then i think about like creating some sort of an email that uh, that there will be the list of companies where the company workers will write a message to the people who e will be in my system and i'm actually thinking about making in the into the future um an additional part uh, tech tutorials how to improve job seeking activity what what kind of things to, to mention where go to go which conference which meetups groups so that people actually when they get an access to my of my system they will get kind of help to improve uh, their job seeking strategy and conclusion my system uh, my system goal to help job seeker really help job seeker to to help him to organize his job seeking activities to make it uh, kind i think kind of accurate and to make them to help job seeker to analyze how his application works at companies so and this is kind of pretty important uh, on the other side uh, the companies which are looking for the candidates they would actually take uh, advantage of the system too because first they do not need to spend any penny they will actually get an access to send anonymously messages actually there will be no no i mean they will get an access to the people who decided to be connected by the companies for the i mean a uh, job seeker acknowledge a connection from the other company and i saw i uh, did show you this previously that as a job seeker you are allowed you have an opportunity to make uh, to enable the function to be connected by the companies the companies connect contact contact this user and uh, to be in a kind of i will say to to respect the eu general data protection regulation all of the data of of the users of my system there will be uh, decrypted their files will be decrypted and the users will be connected only if the users wish to be connected con contacted uh, by other third party people and one of the most advantages for the job seekers is actually to get more clarity about the activity i mean they would see which cities are offering more jobs they can actually plan rationally 
well where where i mean where i have more luck to apply and this will overall improve the efficiency of the job seeker because my platform has a as a main user the job seeker perspective and not the company perspective what i will get through all of this experience i think uh, for me it's funny funny project and this project as idea was like in one year ago ma in making now i have some time to, to build uh, yeah another prototype type stuff to to make it show sure that is functioning and i will probably tell you following what kind of a framework i will use for that let me just quickly move here so i decided to use a spring framework for spring time leaf for the front end some people tell why not use angular i say angular a lot of pain to use i mean you need to be pretty pretty painless using angular other javascript frameworks uh, i don't think that i need to get into the other java script frameworks but with the time leaf i have ability to write test to make sure that what i get is what i expect and this will be kind of not shiny but pretty functional and uh, i know many companies wish to have shiny things and they put a lot of money to get this to be done but my personal belief if i can make it functioning and uh, and it runs pretty stable only then i, I should think about make it fashionable make it improve it uh, ui experience but i mean this is kind of a perspective of the guy who most time spends in working with the uh, backends working with the restful uh, interfaces with the uh, restful apis with the uh, xml with the stuff which actually did do not show himself in ui so i work with javascript too but most times it's a backend most times it's a backend and i'm a not completely fronted developer so and you saw it from my rough presentations and for me it's kind of more important uh, to un understand the domain the requirements of the domain uh, to make a stable system which behaves as i expect where no conditions uh, no tested so all conditions are tested bad ones uh, good ones uh, in the gray area but all conditions are tested and i have stable application stable web application and if i will throw javascript um my personal view it will take longer time to implement and it would not be so funny for me so this is a ki kind of personal personal view on the part of the things but I decided to use a spring and you see the spring security and a lot of different kind of stuff and yeah so what I will show you in my programming sessions where where I will work with a time leaf I decided to show only how I use TDD to create my front-end entity classes for the front-end control class for the front-end and such and such things which you usually uh, use when you're working with a f UI front-end uh, after that I probably say this it because um, stuff with the persistence uh, due to GPTPR 
I need, I don't allow, I don't think this would be, um, I don't think this would be okay to show you how I actually um, persist my data to the database due to the, due to the GDP, uh, GDPR. So, but I would probably later show you some examples how to persist with a hibernate and probably I will use Spring JPA or Spring J JDBC. I'm not sure what is kind of what is appropriate of those frameworks because Spring that is a big one. Spring JDBC is like middle size one database and about databases I don't think that I will use Oracle basically from for me it will be uh, like to use an open source stuff probably PostgreSQL some people say why don't you use NoSQL well NoSQL have nothing to do with a uh, with a uh, structured data you can create structured data in NoSQL I saw that but in my point of view I will use a relational database just only because I have some sort of a structured data and then later when the project in the running state I will show you how my tests running that all of the stuff testable and verifiable but time leave for me was pretty obvious just because of the testing because this framework can be tested manually and I think this is actually cool, 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 cool stuff. And yeah, if you have a question, if you want to get into this project, because it will be, <laughs> it's not a small project right now, from my understanding. You can always contact, uh, you can always create, a, where is my email, email. Yeah, you can you can email me through my page, through my through this bucket manager another project page, and give you some advices, feedback, and that's it. So new web portal need to be created to improve efficiency of the job seeker. This will be worldwide available for any job seeker in the world. I'm not sure that I will have such capabilities to handle 1 million requests, no. I will probably take a small, some sort of small group of people and just, just, yeah, just try it out how it runs. But this is what I need to do in the foreseeable future. This is, will be pet project because my clients still have with me a contract and I will need to work with my clients. But anyhow, this will be interesting experience. So thank you for your interest into my project. I wish you all the best. Till then, bye bye.